Even though we live in a world filled with steamers and fancy smart dryers, if I want my clothes looking fresh, clean, and perfectly pressed, nothing beats an iron. The concept of using a heated object to smooth out fabrics, that dates back to the first century, but 20 centuries later, today, 21st century, when we need our clothes to look their best, we're still using iron. So to honor this handy household appliance, I'm going to share with you some of my best ironing tips. Start at the lowest temperature and work your way up. When you're preparing a load of clothing to iron, what you want to do is sort through and look at the fabric care label. That's going to tell you the temperature that you should be ironing the garment at. That way you can order your clothes from coolest temperatures to warmest temperatures and your iron can work its way up in heat as you work your way through the pile. By doing this, you ensure that every piece of clothing that you're ironing is being ironed at its optimal temperature, so no scorch marks. Keep your iron clean. If you've ever noticed strange marks or stains on your clothing after you've ironed, there's a really good chance that stain came from your iron. So it's really important that on a regular basis, you're keeping the plate of your iron clean. Cleaning the metal plate is quite simple. Just create a paste using two parts baking soda, one part water, and apply the paste to the iron you also want to avoid any of those steam holes when you're applying the paste, that way you don't have to worry about cleaning it out. And you can apply this using a soft cloth or even a cleaning toothbrush. Then use a clean cloth and wipe everything clean and dry. Iron in a back and forth motion. If you iron in a circular motion, you can actually stretch out your garments. And who wants that? So if you iron in a steady back and forth motion, so you're not going too fast, you're not going too slow and you're using somewhat of a heavy hand. You'll be sure to get out those wrinkles but without ruining the fabrics. The aluminum foil trick. If you're looking for ways to cut time when you're ironing, you might wanna give this a try. Take some tin foil and line the underside of your ironing board with the shiny side of the tin foil facing up. Then replace your ironing board cover and start to iron your clothing. What you'll notice is that the tin foil retains heat and it reflects it back onto the clothing. So every time you pass your iron over a garment, you're not only applying heat to the top of the garment, but the tin foil is helping the bottom of the garment get ironed as well. It's definitely a good time saver. Hang your ironing ASAP. The whole idea with ironing is getting rid of wrinkles in your clothing, but how can you make that happen if you throw your freshly ironed stuff in a laundry basket? So the idea here is as soon as you finish ironing something, grab a hanger, stick the item on a hanger and hang it up. If that means you iron in your bedroom, great. Or you hang up a little rack like what I have, perfect. If you don't have that, find something to hang it on, a belt loop, a doorknob, I don't care. Just get it vertical. Keep your ironing board cover clean. Like any garment, the first thing you wanna do is check the care label because many of these ironing board covers are indeed machine washable. If it is, put it in your machine with gentle detergent on a gentle cycle and hang it to dry. Then you wanna reapply it back onto the ironing board and tie it up nice and tight once it's dry so that way it'll stay nice and shaped so you can get a good iron out of it. Now, if it is not machine washable, it might have a special coating on it or it might be made out of a special fabric, no problem. Just take a sponge, dip it in some soapy water. All you need is a little bit of dish soap or a little bit of laundry detergent. Clean off any of those stains, work that product in, rinse it well, dry it, and your ironing board cover is good to go. I hope that straightens things out for you when it comes to your pressing ironing questions. But you know what? The good news is I have lots more ironing information on the way and a lot of it is up on the website already. You can visit that at cleanmyspace.com. This week's common question, and it's an important one. What are your ironing questions? I know this has been a burning hot topic for a long time around here. I know I'm full of puns. Leave me your questions down below because I think we are gonna get more ironing videos out for you. If you're interested in what Clean My Space is up to during the week, you might wanna check us out on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash cleanmyspace. You can see all kinds of really cool behind the scenes stuff, cat pictures, things that Chad and I are up to, so make sure to visit us there. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.
Well, it's the end of the video and it is that time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple other videos I think you're going to love. While we're on the topic of household appliances, why don't we learn how to clean, I don't know, a microwave? And while you're at it, if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, or hot chocolate drinker, why don't you figure out how to clean your Keurig? Remember to visit us at cleanmyspace.com. That's our website with all kinds of great cleaning information and of course our newsletter, The Dirty Dish, and we will have all the links for you right there down below. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.